Hi there, my name's Raz, and we'll be looking at sometimes equations, the elimination method. Yes, so in my previous video, an intro to simultaneous equations, we saw why we use them and, and the principle of them. Now let's get into the introductory type of question that you would get. So there is one main thing that I want to bring up and um, highlight in this video, um, which you'll see in a couple of minutes. So if we look at the first question, um, I'm going to label these equations. So we have equation one here and equation two. Well, the principle is we want to eliminate a variable. Yes, so how can we combine those equations to eliminate the y's? Yeah, well, if we do equation two, subtract equation one. Um, so if we do equation one, take subtract equation two, we will have 5x take away x is 4x. Um, we'll have nothing when we subtract 2y from 2y. And we'll have 13 take away 9 is 4. So in other words, the difference between those two equations is 4x's at a value of 4, which then leads to us seeing that x must equal 1. Now we know that x is 1, we can substitute it back into either equation, pick the easiest one, and solve to find the value of y. So if 1 plus 2y equals 9, then 2y must equal 8. So y will be 4. Yes, so we have combined those equations to eliminate a variable. So we look at the second equation, um, it's a little bit different because now we have a plus and a minus sign. So if we subtract the equations, like we did earlier, we will end up with x um, plus something equals minus 3. So if we subtracted, we'd get 2y minus minus 2y. And does that give us zero? No, it gives us 4y. So that has not moved us forward. So instead of subtracting the equations, what would have happened if we added the equations together? We'd have had 5x. Um, we would have had 2y plus minus 2y equals 25. And you can notice that 2y plus minus 2y is 0. So in this case, when the signs are opposite, we needed to add the equations. And that would have eliminated the y, leading us to have um, x equals 25 over 5, which is 5. Again, now we know x is 5, we substitute into either equation. So we sub there, we have 2 times 5 is 10, minus 2y equals 14. So minus 2y equals 4. So y must equal 4 over minus 2, which is minus 2. Yep, so... Now on the last one, we know that we're either going to have to add or subtract the equations. Let's have a look at this first. If we subtract them, we would get that. And if we added them, we would get that. So if we subtract, we get two minuses in minuses making a plus. So we get minus 4y plus 4y, which is zero. If we'd subtracted, we would have got negative 8y. So again, here, we will have to add the equations. Um, sorry, <laughs> we need to subtract the equations. 
So we're going to have 2x and minus 4y minus minus 4y is 0. And that will equal 14, leading to x equaling 7. Now we know x is 7. I can sub that into the second equation. So I have 7 minus 4y equals 3. So minus 4y equals minus 4. And minus 4 divided by minus 4 is 1. Exactly, because anything divided by itself is 1. So what did we see? We saw that when the signs were the same, we subtracted. When they were opposite, we added. And when they were the same, we subtract. So let's sum that up. So when you are using the elimination method, or simultaneous equations, blah, blah, blah. Elimination method, remember, Uh, when it's the same, subtract. And when the signs are opposite, add. So I look forward to seeing you for our next video where we explore these with some hard examples and we reiterate this principle. Have a good day.